Hey, hey, Spring of Faith, Simple Tarot. Okay, I'm not sure why, but I'm feeling Twin Flame energy today. Um, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling mask, feeling the Divine Masculine, um, channeling messages from them. Um, you know, I've already done, I've actually done two Twin Flame readings, but the last one was a Divine Masculine message for feminine um well that's what this is going to be but this has got a feeling of um it's almost like someone um it's a feeling that our masculine he's is not is not with the feminine so um this is a feeling of oh, it's like searching longing desiring feels has started feeling the feminine so knowing that they're there knowing that they're out there but it's almost like a feeling of um whoever this masculine is they know they know that their feminine is there somewhere waiting um so yeah i want to take um one of these just kind of getting around, you know, where they're coming from. The Divine Masculine. No? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. This Masculine, whoever this is, um, okay. I feel like that you may have already met them and they've picked up on the feeling if you went out on a date. But I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like for some of you, you haven't met them yet. They're going to be on your path. And if um, I feel like for some of you, you may meet them while you're out on a date or they may be in public around you. Um, we've got date here. Or this may be someone that you go out on a date with and then bam, you feel it. Um, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set, date. Now, this is a feeling around, you know, their message to you. Um, we've got a girl with a snake. Now, I felt to cut the deck and go from it there. Um, now, I feel like that um, this person, this this masculine has been dealing with an energy um See, that says empath and narcissist paradigm. Uh, being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. So I feel like that um, this masculine has been dealing with bad energies. But I also feel like that um, he's kind of wanting to warn you of something. Uh, it's almost like he feels... Okay, yes, okay, here we go. Okay. I'm getting spirit tingles. This masculine is um, possibly um, very gifted. We'll put it that way. Um, feels an energy around the feminine. This energy does not feel um, good. It feels narcissistic. And he is, or I'll say he because it's the masculine energy. Masculine energy, get it? Um, is telling you to put your boundaries up there's an energy that is around you and it could be that you are dating or planning on going on a date with someone new he can feel the energy around you this is not good energy and it feels like um this masculine your masculine the divine masculine feels this energy around you and feels that it is of romantic stature of romantic nature um now you he feels like you don't feel the connection or if you do you're trying to find him and this person's not him this is um it's trying to warn you about someone that you're maybe possibly talking to or um possibly going to go out with wow Okay, yeah, see, I just got that sound. That That's like a, okay, the masculine 
the bi masculine messages towards the feminine. So this is him giving you a warning um, because he's very, he's either intuitive, he's gifted in some way, and he feels it. He just, he feels your energy and he feels around you. He feels a bit further than some people feel when they feel their um, divine counterparts um, energy. He feels further. It's almost like he feels um, a circle around you. Um, so, yeah. So, he's warning you of this, um, that you may, you know, I feel like you, you are possibly feeling the twin flame. But the thing is, is you're still at that stage. If if you are the feminine, I feel like you're at that stage where, oh, you may not be completely feeling what the masculine is feeling. So it would be easier for someone to kind of fool you, so to speak, or charm you. charm you into feeling like something is real. Okay, more messages from this divine masculine to our divine feminine. Please tell us more. From the divine masculine to the divine feminine. Cut. Okay. They want me to cut it, just like I did with that one. Okay. And I close my eyes to do this. So, let me get a good grip. It's not. No. It's. I want. Okay. It's like I'm missing it. It's in the middle. Where? Oh, I feel like they're. Okay. I have to. Okay. I see it. There. Now I'm going to tell you this card right here, this white card came out with the last message. I know it did. It was either it or the Aquarius and, um, other signs reading, which was Twin Flame too. This card came out, the white card. It was either it or the Divine Masculine uh, channel messages that I did prior to this one. Okay. So, more messages from him to you is to wait. Don't rush in to it. Don't rush into anything with anyone. Um, allow nature to take its course because it's almost like he's on his way. He is on his way. He's trying to get to you. Um, secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. He may already be in your presence. He may be even watching this and you don't even know it. It's, it's almost like there's something in the way. What is in the way? What is it in the way? What's in the way of our Divine Masculine? Defeat. What? Joy. So something has him feeling defeated. And um, he has to find his courage. Now, for... See, we got disappointment and courage at the same. But we got joy underneath it. I'm going to tell you, but for some of you, he is not right there at you and he has to move to get to you because there's the mover. He wants to take the lead. We got the leader on the bottom. Um, so for some of you, he knows who you are. For others of you, he, he he's searching for you. Um, Give me the other one. Okay. Okay. Heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. I feel like that's what he is doing in this message. That That's what he's trying to... He does not want you to uh, rush into something that is not... You know what I'm saying? He don't want you to rush into something that's not... It's not him. It's not the divine masculine. And um, it's not your twin flame. There you go. 
See, then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This message is coming from your soulmate. Uh, flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. But at the same time, be careful. You don't want to be charmed. Put a, you know, enable your boundaries so that uh, you don't allow something that isn't meant for you to come in. And trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, you need to open your heart up to feeling your twin. Feeling their energy. And, um, you know, really open yourself up to that. Uh, if you need to open your heart chakra, do it, you know. Um, I feel like it's very important, though. It's very important. And I feel like green, for some reason, I'm drawn to these green. Green it, um, vegetables, fruits is very important for you at this moment, um, as well as purple or black or dark colors. Um, I feel like that whoever this masculine is, they are trying. They are searching. They are doing the meditations. They are doing the work to pull you two together. Um, so that may be something that you need to do as well, feminine is do those meditations so that you magnetically are drawn to one another. Um, because this this has got such a, a feel to it, you know. Um, this masculine is really looking out for you. Yeah, that's what I've got here. Um, if you like the reading, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And um, check out those other two readings. You know, one will uh, probably start with um, Aquarius and other signs or something like that. Or Aquarius and signs. Because it started out as being for an Aquarius and then it, you know, I felt it was for everyone. It could be for anyone that's on that twin bond journey. Uh, but I still felt like I should name it accordingly. Um, and then the other one is Divine Messages, uh, or Divine Masculine Channeled Messages to the Divine Feminine. It'll start out something like that. Um, yeah. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.